That was almost a disaster. I don't know, I'm feeling adventurous. Let's do it. That was a bad idea, wasn't it? Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video we are going to be doing the damage evaluation contract. So for this contract we have to pick up this trailer behind us and deliver this to the science wing. So the first thing we're going to attempt to do is turn it around. It'll probably end up flipping over. Let's turn on the all wheel here, see if we can get some more... Get some more grip. Oops. Oh, there. Uh, back it up. And uh, after this, we have to, I believe it's, uh, I guess I'll have to check, but I believe we have to pick up a cistern in the north, uh, northeastern corner of this map. And then we have to bring it to, oh, I don't remember what it's called either. I'll have to check when we get there, but we have to bring it to the middle left part of this map. And, uh, so, eastern, middle eastern part. That's, that sounds kind of weird. Middle of the map height-wise, height and then eastern part. Um, and then, for some reason, there's like a, a stage completion, and then you got to take it to uh, Heartlands, which is kind of weird that they make you deliver it there and then go to Heartlands, but whatever. And I don't believe we can actually attach the trailer to this truck with the seismic vibrator on here. I guess I can try. Let's get up here. I think I've tried before, like in other phases. Let's try conflict upon attachment, seismic vibrator module. So yeah, we can't uh, can't have the trailer attached to us, but that's fine. We should be able to tow it there just fine with this. We're using the bore. I don't remember the numbers offhand on this one. This is one of the trucks that I don't use all that often. And the reason is just because it, I believe it only has four add-ons. And if I can remember correctly, it's got the seismic vibrator, saddle high, uh, the log carrier front, and I think it might have saddle low, but it doesn't sound right. Maybe it only has three add-ons. I'm not exactly sure, but I know it's it's very limited. And so when I saw that this could have uh, the seismic vibrator, I was like, oh, cool, yeah, let's let's go use that because it doesn't have much, you know, use other than a, you know saddle high or whatever. Because I think it only has three or four. And so I actually brought it up here, planning to do, I, I forget the name of it, I'll check when I get there for you guys, and I'll actually show you where this trailer was on the map as well, I guess, and where we're bringing it to, but, uh, now I forgot, oh, I'll, I'll show you the mission, actually I'm going to do it now before I forget. So we're doing damage evaluation here, which we've got to bring the mobile pump. That was right here, no, right here on the map. And then we jug it across that bridge and then just up over to here. And then this has got, we're gonna continue down this road all the way till we get to, okay, it's the science wing. And then there should be a cistern that spawns right up here. We got a truck waiting for that. I don't know if this truck will be good enough. It has a crane, but it's not a big crane. It's just the small one. So I don't know if it'll be able to lift it or not. And then we gotta bring it to the science wing, and then we gotta take it from the science wing out to the heartlands, and then deliver it to the Kolkhozna, Kolkhoznia, Naya railway station. Is that an actual place? But here's where we would be coming in from the institute, and we gotta bring it down right here, the Kolkhoznaya, or whatever, however you say it. Uh, 
it looks like we could go down right away. I don't know which route we'll take, but I have a feeling we'll probably go this way and then cut down here and go in. I'm not really sure. But then this eco study is the mission I was going to use this uh, the bore for. That's why I brought it up here. But it says we can't do that one until we complete this one. So we have to do this one first. And uh, yeah, I was going to use a different truck for this. Like I was looking at my other trucks in this map. But nothing is close. I have, like I could, I could bring the Resvani Hercules that I have at this science wing and attempt to use that, you know. Or... I have a Resvani Hercules way up north that I could use, or a Western Star 6900 Twin Steer, but like, nothing, nothing really, no good options I would say, I guess, because the Resvani is probably too small and can't attach to it. Not too small, like you could make it work, but, and then the, um, the Twin Steer, probably, I don't think it can attach trailers, I've never really tried to pull any with it but I mean that that could work but again it's probably not optimal I mean I guess this isn't optimal either but I felt like this was the best choice it was right next to it and it's not too small like it's gonna have trouble pulling it and it's not gonna be like okay I think I'm gonna have to attach attach and move up a little bit so we've got the wheel spin way down here Okay, let's go low plus with the uh, diff lock on. Move the trailer up a little bit. Okay, let's detach that. Oh, the game is being weird. It's not letting me attach a winch. Or it doesn't let me manually choose where I want to attach it. It does let me attach it, but only if I just push, push the button like Y uh, to attach it automatically. But like places like this is where it becomes an issue because it's like I don't want to just attach to that tree. I'm trying to get to the trailer. Yeah, see I don't want the tree. I don't want that edge of the trailer either. It doesn't let me choose. Super annoying. Right now I'm just trying to get it in front of the tree, hopefully. Uh, the winch point. Okay, I think I got it now. Oh, and it's stuck on the tree, are you kidding me? Alright, so I'm going to try and pull it way off to the side and hopefully you can get around. That was almost a disaster. There we go. Alright, we got out just... just in time. having trouble moving at all. As you can see the front tires are spitting out mud but they're not even moving. Okay. So we're gonna have to pull ourselves to the side a little bit first. Alright the trailer is still upright. I didn't think about this but I don't think it, it normally matters because but like my my thought process I guess that just popped up was you, normally when you bring a cargo, you have to, to pack it to deliver it. But when you bring a trailer, it doesn't need to be attached to have it delivered. So I was like, I wonder if... I guess that 
that's uh, something that they could do. They could make you have to attach the trailers to get them delivered. I mean, I don't know, it doesn't really make sense, but it doesn't really make sense to have the, the cargo packed either. You could just throw it in your throw it in your truck as long as you get it from point A to point B. And I think it's a good thing that we uh, we use this truck. This thing is just guzzling the fuel down. Look at that, 33, 30, 27, 25 I think, yep, 25, 22. Now we're moving a little better, but yeah, this thing's just eating up all the fuel. Like I said, I haven't really used it much before, so I didn't know how, how much of a fuel hog it was, but that's fine. And we'll come back and fill it up off camera. Not now, but later. So let's get this here. And there we go. Stage complete. We'll just park off over here by the Resvani. Whoops. Okay, and so here is the moment of truth. Let's see if we can lift this even just a little bit to get it into our trailer. I don't know if this will work at all. Is the winch point on the bottom? Seriously? Oh, what the heck. Oh, you know what? I think it's because my winch wasn't working earlier. That's why it's not allowing me to winch to that. Not positive, but maybe. <laughs> I, I accidentally rolled it downhill. I was trying to flip it over and then it rolled like four times. Okay, yeah, this is not working. I'm gonna have to restart my game quick. Okay guys, so I restarted my game. The first time I went to the main menu, and that didn't work. So I restarted it, and then it allowed me to winch. I don't know if this is just a me problem, or if this is like a SnowRunner problem, but I seem to have this issue fairly often. Alright, um, oh shoot, 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 shoot. No, I'm trying to get it to drop. Let me roll forward, maybe. On a more even ground here. Nope. Um, I'm trying to get it to, to sit on my trailer so I can pack it. There we go. Let's try that. Ah, oh, no. Alright, I think what I gotta do is just uh, get the one side in, and then I'll have to nudge it into place like I was trying to do. So there we go, that should be the one side. Now I'll pull it and sort of straighten it up like, like uh, get it upright, if that makes sense. Oh, come on. There we go. I think that'll work. No! Okay. Yep, we're going to that plan. Now it should work, even if I push it. Um, I don't think it'll fall out. I think it'll just slide back. There we go. Now that should work. That's what I'm talking about. Whoa! I guess you can see straight through that one. Interesting view. Okay, so we do have to make it back. Um, oh no. Somewhat fast. Not terribly fast, but somewhat. Because we have 147 liters plus 80. So what's that? 227? But um, after this, we have to go all the way to the other map. And we definitely want to 
be full on fuel, so... I also could have gone to the left and gone across that bridge, but I thought this would be a little bit more interesting path. Because when I did this on the PTS, I did go across that bridge. I thought, uh... I thought I'd just switch it up. There is a little swamp over there, but I was like, well, we'll take the harder river crossing. It's it's easier, and basically both downhills is easy. And so you either got the swamp and then an easy bridge crossing, or you got no swamp and you got the river for a crossing. So I was like, it's probably about the same, no matter which way you take it or go. But yeah, we'll do... Uh, We'll do the more northern route, um, I guess. And then we'll basically have to turn around and go right back to Heartlands. This is going to be a longer video because we've got a lot of driving to do. Ooh, unless we get it in high. We can start moving a little faster. At least I think it's faster. I don't know, maybe it's the same, but it felt like it, it kicked it up a notch right when I threw it into high. On the uh, the road here, though, it might be faster in auto. Let's see. It's in fifth. Can it get up to six? Six. Can we hit seven? Nope, back to five. Nope, six. We'll see if we can hold it. I'm going to try and drive quick. Nope. I tried to not, not hit the mud, but it didn't work. Alright, so we gotta turn left. I think I can take that road. But I'm just gonna keep going forward, and then we'll take a left on the tar road. And we'll refuel at the technical station. And then... Ooh, and then we'll deliver it to where we need to go, and then we'll do the, the third stage, because obviously the first one was uh, the trailer. I forget what it had in it, though. Got a nice wheat field here. Here's our turn. Just up there is where you do the like hot potatoes and uh, experimental field. Really? Did it just go down to one on that? And then, yeah, just up to the left here. This is where the road would come out. That road. On the left there. Oh, shoot. And then this is the technical station. I don't think we have any vehicles in there right now. But we need to drive through and we'll repair our vehicle and get some fuel. Yeah, it looks empty. I don't know what that blue thing is. It looks like it's a contract, but sh shoot, I'm going to have to avoid that. Well, I don't have to avoid it, but I'm trying to get a keep everything in one video. Like, when I start that contract until it's finished. Oh, my controller's dying. Oh, I lied. That was just because uh, I couldn't I couldn't steer it because I was in the fuel menu. So that was all me. I thought my controller was dying there. Alright, take a nice wide turn. Let's try and get it just inside. See it's got a contract on it, so I don't know what that, that is exactly. But I'll I'll definitely be checking it out at some point. I just don't want to hit it for now. Okay, yeah, we'll get this delivered, and then we will switch back to day again, and we'll probably have to do that another time after that, just because it's a long drive there. Let's get it up into high. We got a little bit of a road here, then we cross the river, then we go up, then we deliver it, and then we'll have to cross another river, bringing it back down. So... And then, let's see, after that... 
After that, we'll just drive back to basically where the crossroads uh, tunnel or what do you call them? Tunnels or gateways. And then we'll turn left and we'll follow the main road all the way back up. Or not all, well, yeah, most of the way to the next uh, tunnel, which is into Heartlands. Okay, I'm trying to turn right. And I know this is a, I've, this water is fairly deep here. I mean, maybe, maybe it doesn't look that deep, but it's, it's got a good current under it. I don't even know where I'm winched to. Oh, off to the left there. Okay, let's go into low. So there's nothing out in front of me at all. What we could do is attach the back of our trailer up to that and it'll turn it turn it off into the water, but I think we might be able to it might pull us forward a little bit. It's not looking like it though. We just need a little bit forward. Just a little forward momentum. Oh, that didn't work at all. Oh, wait. Maybe. It might have put just enough weight. Uh-oh. There we go. Oof, man, that was a... That was getting into a tricky situation there. I think it, it might have put a little more weight on the back tires. The way the trailer was sort of just hanging off into the, uh, into the river there. And then that allowed us to get more traction and uh, be able to pull out of there. That was, that was uh, really close there. I, I was thinking we might actually flip. I was, I was, yeah, right there thinking we were going into the river. At first I thought, oh, I'll just pull it, maybe it'll s swing the trailer around a little bit and then we'll cut, you know, get loose, but we had to pull the trailer almost all the way in the river. The current was pushing it down. So it, it made it even faster. But all right, here we go. We got to deliver this. And bam. And then all of a sudden, yeah, you got one pop up right over here, so. Let's bring that open. Oh, that was cool. It just flipped it right for us. Because the, the, uh, um, the crane was trying to open still and it just, it was pulling it away. That was really cool. All right, I don't, the last time it was super picky with getting this thing packed. Oh no, that was not what I wanted. So I'm gonna try and, there we go. And let's extend this out. This probably won't work. Let's go down and towards us. Yeah, it's not working. Okay, let's just pull it away. Slowly moving away from us. Okay, that should probably work. All I'm really trying to do is get a, a little nudge on it. There we go. And kind of knock it into its into its spot. A little bit more. Perfect. All right, uh, I almost did stop engine. Restore crane, pack cargo. Switched it back to uh, 1300. And we're gonna get moving. We're going to the right here. And then we're taking a left right up here. I don't know how, how, uh, how much fuel we'll have or how close it'll be, but I think we'll be all right. If we do need more, we can always refuel from some other vehicle, but we'll see uh, how close we are when we, when we cross that bridge. All right, we're gonna do some off-roading. 
I hope we don't get stuck here. Because the boar did, obviously, at the start of the video, pull in that trailer, so I'm really hoping this does not hang us up too long. Come on, go right over it. Yes! And we're a little bit, a little bit off to the side. Let's grab that. Okay, and now let's attach further back. Let's do there and there and pull. There we go. Now we're up on a couple of logs. We'll detach. Looking good. There we go, we're in second. Third. Oh. Did I just cut through here? I mean, I know the road just goes right out there to the left, but I don't know, I'm feeling adventurous. Let's do it. Might have to go a little slower. Oh shoot, we're in high. That was a bad idea, wasn't it? Okay, let's uh this one's quite an angle here. Let's, uh, let's not go up right there. I probably shouldn't do this on this long of a video already, because it's going to make it only even longer. But it's... Uh, I never even noticed there's a little place here. That's pretty cool. It's kind of tucked back. I'll have to check if that's there on the map. Maybe there's a contractor or a task or something that brings you there, but... That is an interesting place. Okay, how far off is the road from here? So the first part going up there was kind of tough, but now here we got a nice big open flat area. Look at this. But sometimes you gotta watch out, the land can be deceiving. Like that. It looked like this, this was a flat part. Well, like it went down but then flat definitely not the case and we also got to try to stay close to some trees and oh here's the road wait that's not a road i gotta see where we're at oh here's the road there we go well hopefully that was a little more entertaining for you guys that was when we first went up there that, that kind of worried me because I was, I was ready to flip right away. I'm like, oh, this was a bad choice, wasn't it? <laughs> Wait, is this our turn already? I'll just show you guys. So basically what we did was cut up through here, this little house there, and over to here. We kind of went down to the river and then turned in, but... I don't know, save us a little bit of time, right? I just marked the, uh, the, the area we got to turn at as well. I thought it might be through here. You can turn there, but it'll bring you down to that swamp area and then up to there. And so I don't, that's not the route that I want to go. Yeah, we're, we're taking highway now. And we also do have a, uh-oh, uh-oh, we're, we're losing it. Oh, there we go. I always forget if it's highway, high range or freeway or whatever the name is for the gearbox, but we do have a alternate, you know, more road tuned gearbox. Yeah, we'll leave it in high. It seems to be doing a little bit better. The road is just off to our left, but I decided to turn because of that big pipe right there in the middle. I wanted to try and avoid that pipe. I've never actually gone this path yet, but I've, I have sort of gotten stuck on there a few times. Not like really stuck, but like gotten hung up for a little bit. Basically just what I did right there where I got hung up for like a second. And then I've turned off through this field before all the way to the left. Whoa. I gotta keep my eyes on the road. I, I say that like every video because I'm always looking around and talking and whatever. And yeah, I, uh, I gotta keep my eyes on the road. But I have cut through 
this because it just basically it turns all the way around to the left and then it turns back to the right a little bit then you're at the tunnel entrance so basically you just it's a big U and the roads aren't too bad but there is some swamp right above our truck like at the very end of this part so and I have gotten kind of stuck on this so I'm gonna try to avoid this as well and that went amazingly I didn't even have to slow down. But yeah, right here is where the swamp kind of comes in. So there's a little bit of swampiness here, but not too bad. Alright, here we are. We're at the gateway into Heartlands. Okay, here we go. So I obviously switched to back to day again. I try and keep it bright for you guys, because i probably said this a hundred times now. What the heck? Did, the, did that tank get damaged? Weird. But, uh, yeah, it's just... I know I've watched plenty of dark, like, videos on YouTube, and... I don't know, they're still fun to watch. Like, if you enjoy the creator, you know, you'll watch it. For me, it's, it's mainly been survival games that I watch other people play that, uh... You know, they get... Wait, where... Oh, I have to choose left or right. You can cross here or here. But yeah, it's mainly survival games for me. Where, it, you know, they're like out at night and they have a torch or something. And it's super dark and hard to see. But, I don't know. It's, it's still fun to watch them play it. But it's just... It would be so much better during the day. But I understand sometimes you obviously, like, can't you know some of those games you can't control the time at all there we go got a little better oh don't hit the stump so that is kind of nice that you can do that in this game I understand why they you know some of those games wouldn't want you to hopefully we can get across here I have gotten kind of stuck in that part all right we're good But yeah, it just makes it way easier to watch, you know, to follow along. And I think, just as it is right now, like, I can see more stuff on the screen than you guys can anyways. And, like, I know one person I watch, when they're playing a... a well, I mainly watch them play one game, even though they play other games. Um, when they play this game, they can see stuff, like, way off in the distance. And I'm like, I can't even see that. Or, like, they'll they'll try and point it out and like they'll zoom in uh, on the on the video so like how, how do I explain this like just on that specific part of the screen not like with a scope or anything but like that specific part and be like yep there it is and I'm like dang I I couldn't like I could barely see that uh, before or I couldn't see it at all and then they zoom in and it's like oh yeah okay it's there like you know, I don't know how they can see it, but obviously on their screen it's a lot bigger, so. Um, I think this is our turn here. So let me check. We'll just stop. Yes, this is our turn. And I just dropped the rest of the fuel we had into our, our truck. And there's a field up here to the left. This is, I think this is the field you need, uh, to do to get the K7M. It should be, yeah, it's on Heartlands, it's kind of in the middle. Yeah, I still got the three trailers over there. Yeah, that's, that's gotta be it. Ooh. I don't think I've ever actually gone down this road. Or maybe once. Yeah, actually, no, I, I know I have because the river's right over here and I have a truck in it for that task, uh, River Trouble, I think? Did I just say I have a, a truck stuck in it? It's not stuck if I said that. It's just there for the screenshot. I don't... I feel like I said it was stuck. Parked in it? Something, I don't know. Yeah, I think it looks cool with the sprinkler system here. I don't know. 
There's a lot of really cool looking places on this latest update, I think. Well, there is every update, but yeah, looks really nice. Oop. A little bit too far outside there. Just a tad bit. Is this... Yeah, it is kind of sloped there. Okay. And I know the road kind of goes right back down here. The car goes leaning hard left, though. So yeah, just up in front of us is the railway station. That's where we're bringing this. Whoa. Came in a little hot there with the speed. So yeah, you can see it up there. The junkyard is just off over these hills. Kind of more at an angle. More like right over this hill. Yeah, looks like we'll have just enough fuel. We did empty our whole roof rack, so 80, 80 liters. Uh-oh. Oh, there we go. Can I get that tree off to the left? Uh-oh. All right. Let's uh, attach. This could get this could get ugly real fast because I'm I'm pulling my trailer more to the right. I'm turning to the left. Okay, now we're 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 good. I think. Once our truck kind of straightens out, let's do... I don't know if any of these will hold. Wow, that's one strong little tree right there. I'm pretty sure it's a little tree. Yeah, look at that. Gotta love it when you get a really strong one. We had a few uh, close calls in this one, but... Nothing, nothing did us in yet. We're almost there, so hopefully nothing does do us in, but... And we'll just go straight here. Wait, okay, I guess it doesn't matter. Oh, we'll go left. There's an entrance just off over there and one over here, so... This one just kind of goes up and around. No... No need to go either way, really. Show your badge. All right, we made it in one piece. Never flipped. Um, we got stuck a little bit a few times, once with the boar, once with this, but... All right, that'll be it for this video, guys. 9,200 and 740. Thank you guys for watching. If you want to watch another video, there's a random video on screen and another playlist. Please be sure to share the video, like it, comment, and subscribe. Turn on those bell notifications so you're notified when I upload. And until next time, peace.